Guys, the violence in Chicago continues. This time, it has unfortunately affected a church in Chicago. As two people, guys, uh, just this past Sunday, were gunned down just outside of the church. Uh, and this was deliberate, too. This was an accident. They weren't the victims of just a straight bullet uh, between rival gangs in the city. Nothing like that. No, 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 no. This was actually planned. They were targeted. Uh, it is heartbreaking uh, to even report to you guys something like this. It's currently the days we're living in. It's it's really sad. Well, the church usher and a visitor were shot dead at the steps of a Chicago church Sunday morning right as the worship was finishing and the sermon was about to begin. Now, Emmanuel Fleming, age 34, and Michael Swift, age 46, were gunned down at about 11.15 a.m. outside of Friendship Baptist Church on Chicago's very troubled west side. The Chicago Tribune reports that the two gunmen were wearing bandanas and ended up running toward the broad wooden doors of the church as they took aim at the men. Fleming, an usher at the church, cried out to his three children to take cover inside of the sanctuary, and miraculously, they were able to find safety. Now, church members say that when his children, which are all under the age of 10, uh, burst through the doors, they could hear the gunfire just feet away from them. Everyone dropped to the floor as one of Fleming's children had cried out repeatedly, I want my dad. It's so sad, guys. It's so sad. Police said that Fleming and Swift were both taken to nearby hospitals where they were later pronounced dead. Reverend Reginald Batchus was getting ready to get up and deliver his sermon when the gunfire started. He told the Chicago Tribune this, quote, It's just hard for me to believe that something like this could happen on a Sunday morning. Chicago's murder rate had spiked last year to 762 deaths and is on pace right now to top 700 again this year with 323 homicides just at the end of June, guys. Now the church acknowledged the violence in a statement saying, quote, the African-American community is being devastated by easy access to firearms and crushing poverty, limited educational resources, homelessness, unemployment, and the revolving door of recent division. So the church, guys, was actually scheduled to hold um, a, uh, a, a vigilant there where it's basically going to be an anti-violence rally there it, at their church uh, this evening. Uh, suspects are still on the loose right now, and Chicago PD uh, are on the hunt for them, said to be driving a gray or silver SUV. So guys, this is extremely sad. Please keep uh, the families in prayer for those that uh, the two that lost their lives, especially for these kids uh, that lost their father. It's heartbreaking, guys. It's heartbreaking. You're right at a church. Guys, if you haven't accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, if you would like to today, please let me know. Leave me a comment below. Let me know you would like to receive Christ as your Lord and Savior. You can be born again. You can come into the family of God where you can be forgiven of all of your sins, given everlasting life. There's no greater decision you're ever going to make. It will be my personal honor to pray with you today, guys. So please let me know. I'll continue to keep you up to speed here on all the latest breaking news, prophecy headlines, and current world events. All right, guys, I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please, as always, be safe out there. Don't forget to share these videos with your friends and family. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.